everyone, I'm Fixer and welcome to Test Drive. We take a game out for a spin to get a first impression. You let me know if you'd like to see more. And today, we're going to kick the tires on the Mass Effect Legendary Edition, which just came out. I got access to it through EA Play Pro, which is their higher end monthly subscription service. This is actually for free if you have that. So if you just want to test it out, afraid to pay the full price, that's probably a good way to go. Anyways, jumping in here, I know pretty much nothing about Mass Effect. I didn't play any of the games, like none of them. Everything I know is mostly through like Mass Effect memes, right? Shepard memes and stuff like that. That's about it. My knowledge is non-existent. So I'm going into this like completely fresh. And I, I think I'm only going to show you guys uh, about an hour of the playthrough. I'll, I'll show you like my choices I make in the beginning to set up uh, my profession and all that stuff. And I'll, I'll give you a, a little look at the like character creation. And, and you can see if you're a fan of Mass Effect, if you play the previous games, what is different there. I won't be able to point out anything that's different, obviously. But if you played it, I'm sure you'll you'll notice straight away. Anyways, let's hop into it. Okay, so I um the thing is with the name John Shepard is um I was am a huge Stargate fan, and in Stargate Atlantis, the commander of Atlantis, his name is John Shepard. So it feels a little awkward going with John Shepard. I'm gonna go with a, a custom name. To access your profile. We are Conway Shepard. Sounds good to me. All right. I'm guessing they don't use a first name at all Warning. in this game. Data corruption detected. Please reconstruct profile. Since they didn't let me change his last name. Confirm pre-service history. Okay. Um. So I've already gone through most of this. I had to get in. You, you can't change the settings in the menu for whatever reason in this game. You have to actually get in-game past all the cutscenes or the intro movies and everything and get in-game to actually change the settings. So um, I've already gone through all this, so I, I know what I'm going to choose, but I'll, I'm going to, for you guys who are kind of new to this, I guess, I guess I'll go over this pretty quickly. Anyways, you could be a spacer. Your parents were part of the military and you joined the military following in their footsteps. Uh, you could be uh, a colonist where you were... Your colony was uh, infiltrated and joined the military. And you can be Earthborn. And this is what I'm choosing. Uh, you were an orphan raised on the streets of the great megatropolises covering Earth. You escaped the life of petty crime and underworld gangs by enlisting with the Alliance military when you turned 18. That's that's Conway. That's Conway. Confirm psychological profile. All right. Uh, ruthless. Uh, basically, you're a badass that... that kind of goes beyond the uh, you, you cross lines maybe i don't know you can be a war hero or you can be a soul survivor i'm going with soul survivor for my playthrough during your service a mission you were on went horribly wrong trapped in an extreme survival situation you had to overcome physical torments and psychological stresses that would have broken most people you survived while all those around you fell and now you alone are left to the, tell the tale um i wanted to go with this because it was a little bit more basic i didn't want to i didn't want to be a cold ruthless jerk i don't want to be that and war hero i don't know if it, it feels too supermanish to me here i like soul survivor as it, it seems basic but i think it, it would i like it confirm military specialization all right now again i'm i'm completely new to mass effect so i don't know like what's the best or anything that I, and, I, and i don't really care but what, what it seems like to me soldier likes to pew pew engineer likes tech and adept is is kind of like uh magic yeah i mean it looked like he's like got the skyrim hand of magic type thing right so that's like the three main classes and these seem to be hybrids of the two so infiltrate infiltrator is is pew pew and the magic or um tech sentinel is magic and tech and vanguard is pew pew and magic so i, I feel like my first thought was going to be engineer because that sounds most, most appealing to me. But I, then I thought, eh, hybrid seems like perhaps it would be most fun. So at, at least I could try a couple of different things out, right? If I wanted to try Pew Pew and, and Tech. And maybe that would influence my choice going into maybe the second game. So what do I want to do? Do I want to do Pew Pew, Tech, or, or Magic? I think I'm going with Sentinel. I'm a little worried because it's easy... In, in games that have guns to kind of like just fall back on guns right because it, it's, it's very basic pew pew you aim you shoot it's it's as simple as that 
Um, I've never been a huge fan of magic in games. But I think Sentinel would be a completely interesting experience. And I think I'm going to go with that. Confirm facial identification. I'm not too big on what I'm going to look like, but I'm going to go through it anyways, in case you want to see, you know, the changes they've made, if any. We'll go through some presets first. I think there's a set amount of presets here. I mean, it looks it looks pretty good. I don't know how, how good it looked. When was this released? 2007, I think it was? I don't know. I can't really comment on any of the improvements, but it looks pretty good. Um, alright, so I want a good base one. I want the Mohawk guy. Yeah, we'll start with this as a base. Facial structure? Okay. These feel a little weird. Let's go with that. Skin tone? Ooh, ghost white. We'll go with that. Complexion? We'll go with rugged. All right, head. Neck thickness. Uh, my neck is fine. Face size. Can I? Oh, okay. Cheek width. I don't want to spend too much time on this. Like I said, I don't particularly care too much. But I want to give you guys just, a, just an idea. Eyes? No, what they had was fine. I'll change the color, though. Let's go with, with blue eyes. Or orange. I think I'm gonna make the hair orange, so let's go with blue. Is there... It's hard to tell on my screen. There's like a dark blue. I was looking for like a light blue. Yeah, there we go. Steely eyes, basically. Eye depth? Oh, yeah, I don't really care about that. Jaw? Right, okay. Sure, why not? Mouth lip size? Let's go with average. Mouth height. <laughs> it may as well be, the slider may as well be called smug. It makes them look smug. I don't, it's funny, but I don't know if I could stand it in every cutscene. Let's just go with average. All right. My nose, let's see kind of noses we got here. What the hell is this? Holy cow. Sure. Nose depth. Okay. Hair. This is this is this is one of the important ones, right? This at least makes your character look more distinct that you can notice. Can I can just do it one at okay, we can do it one at a time. I suppose these all have to be like military friendly type haircuts then, don't they? Yeah, see none of them are long. I think I'll probably just go with a mohawk. What the hell's that? I'm going to go with a mohawk. All right, beard. That's probably going to be military friendly as well, eh? Oof. I mean, so far, like the first one. Well, that's pretty cool, too. I might go with the, chin, the little chin strap. There's a chin strip. Yeah, let's go with that. My brow. I think what I had was fine. Was it this? Yeah, we'll go with that. All right, hair color. Orange. Is there going to be an orange? Uh oh, they're all natural. Oh, wait. That's kind of red. There's orange. Oh, there's even oranger. Yeah, we'll go with that. No, he's not a, he's not a ginger. That's dyed orange. So, I think I want to go with just like a, a plain old brown on the facial hair. Not gray. That's too dark, though. Maybe I'll just go with that. That's good enough. A uh, scar? What choices do we have here? I don't want a massive scar. That one's pretty good. I might go with that one. Oh, I like that one. We're going there. Finalize. Profile reconstruction complete. Okay, fantastic. Conway Shepard, Earthborn Soul Survivor, Sentinel. Yeah. Identification confirmed. Thank you. Subtitles on. Yep. 
All confirmed. I'm ready. Well, what about Shepard? Earthborn, but no record of his family. Doesn't have one. He was raised on the streets. Learned to look out for himself. That's Keith David. He saw his whole unit die on a cruise. He could have some serious emotional scars. And physical. Every soldier has scars. Shepard's a survivor. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? Goddamn That's right. That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. I'll make the call. In the year 2148, explorers on Mars discovered the remains of an ancient spacefaring civilization. And then decades that followed, these mysterious artifacts revealed startling new technologies, enabling travel to the furthest stars. A basis for this incredible technology was a force that controlled the fairy fabric of space and time. They called it the greatest discovery in human history, and it cut off before I could finish. We're near Jupiter! The Arcturus Prime relay is in range. Initiating transmission sequence. Commander. I don't think... I don't think my settings all changed. We are connected. Calculating transit mass and destination. So the settings are based on each save file, I guess. approach vector. All stations secure for transit. What on earth are those? Oh, those are guns. Contact like, isn't it? Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500k. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. Well, I'm the captain, right? Wait a minute. No, I don't want to... No, cut the chatter. That's enough. Your soldiers. Act like it. That's what I said. Sorry, Commander. Okay, Commander, Joker. not Captain. Status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Wait a minute. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the calm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? Uh, her... I'm on my way. Wait a minute. Is it me or does the captain always sound a little pissed off? Only when he's talking to you, Joker. So, all right. Let's escape and open the journal to view your update submission objectives. All right, I need to pause here to make sure everything's going fine as far as my settings go. All right, so they told me to check my journal. Here we are. Your Lieutenant Cam Commander Shepard. So what's weird is... Um, the guy, Keith David, what, what was his name, Command, or, uh, Captain Anderson, or something, whatever, it sounded like at the beginning that he was the one helping someone else choose me to do this mission, but it sounds like he outranks me there, yet he's on this ship, and is Captain outranking Commander? I don't know. I'm not sure what's going on. Um, anyways, um, executive officer, all right, well, no silence or anything. I don't know why it tells me to go to my journal. If there's is there's nothing here, all right. Um, yeah, it's it's weird because it feels like my colors are off. Um, where am I going? Tell you I just saw a smart pilot you're on a mission. This 
inspectors are always on a mission. And we're getting dragged, right along with them. Relax, Presley. You're gonna give yourself an ulcer. Okay. I grew up on Eden Climb Dock. It's not the kind of place specters visit. But there's something Nihilus isn't telling us about this mission. That's crazy. The captain's in charge here. He wouldn't take orders from a specter. Not his choice, Doc. Specters don't answer to anyone. They can do whatever they want. Kill anyone who gets in their way. Ugh, you watch too many spy vids, Jenkins. Damn it, Jenkins. He's always a pain in the ass. All right, so it sounds like Captain does outrank Commander. Oh, this is what's his name? Um, how do I talk? Oh no, I don't want to. I don't want to pull my gun. Commander Shepard. I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. Uh, where's Captain Anderson? Is, are, do these ever get timed, I wonder? I don't know. The captain said he'd meet me here. He's on his way. All right, I'm not a I'm fan of my eyes. I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. Um. Uh, yeah, sure. They say it's a paradise. Yes, a paradise. Serene, tranquil, safe. Eden Prime has become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? What's your if point? If you've got something to say, just say it. Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. Obviously, I must see my eyes. They're purple. I thought I was looking at light blue, but they're definitely purple. At least when looking at them from here, it looks purple. I don't like them. God bless America. I already figured that out. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. Um, you should have told me. Yeah, yeah, let's go with that. I don't like being kept in the dark, Captain. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. Um... Well, I don't know what Prothean means. I'd like to ask about that, but I'd also like to check the details. All right, let's... 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 I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is big, Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Um, why did we tell the council? I'm glad you're here to help. You sound worried. We don't need your help here. So this guy seems like some sort of, um, like oversight, right? Some kind of master galactic oversight dude. We don't need your help here. And of course, everybody's going to be, um, antagonistic with him. I would think. I'm glad you're here to help. You sound worried. I think I like this. I think I like where this could go. Are we expecting trouble? I'm always expecting trouble. There's more, Shepard. Nihilus isn't just here for the beacon. He's also here to evaluate you. Like hell! Since when do we answer to the Spectres? You're smart enough to know how things work, Commander. The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. Not many could have survived what you went through on Akuz. You showed a remarkable will to live, a particularly useful talent. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Um, you support this captain? What's an accept? What if I refuse? My name forward. What does that mean? Yeah. Why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? Not all Turians resent humanity. Some of us see the potential of your species. Oh. We see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy and to the Spectres. We are an elite group. It's rare to find an individual with the skills we seek. I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. All right, so I thought Spectre was his species. It is obviously not. He's a Turian. Okay. 
And the Spectres is some kind of elite group, it says. Um, I am elite, obviously. Um, Captain, what do you think? I assume this is good for the Alliance. Earth needs this, Shepard. We're counting on you. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. Uh, investigate? Oh, okay, investigate means dig deeper into the, the, the discussions here. All right, um, so let's, let's, let's look a bit. All right, um, when I'm playing this privately, I probably will go through these like one by one and investigate like as much as possible. Um, probably wouldn't be great for a playthrough, I don't know. What do you know about the Proteans? Just what they taught us in school. They were a technologically advanced species that ruled the galaxy 50,000 years ago. Then they vanished. Nobody really knows how or why, though I've heard plenty of theories. But everyone agrees, galactic civilization wouldn't exist without them. Their citadel is the very heart of galactic society. And without their mass relays, interstellar travel would be impossible. We all owe the Protheans a great debt. So the relays are from this Prothean... This, this this sounds more and more like like Stargate <laughs> as I keep going. So the relays are are made by the Protheans and and we've kind of taken over and inherited them or whatever you want to want to say. We're we're using their tech, which is exactly what happened in Stargate, by the way. Um, all right, let's talk about Eden Prime. I'd like to know more about Eden Prime before we touch down. It's a peaceful farming world, but it represents something much bigger. Eden Prime is one of our oldest and most successful colonies. It proved we were ready to face the challenges of settling new worlds, to forge a place for humanity beyond Earth. It symbolizes humanity's growth and evolution as a spacefaring species. And after this, it will be known as the world where humans made a discovery of galactic importance. Why is this beacon so important? All advanced galactic civilization is based on Prothean technology, even yours. If we hadn't discovered those Prothean ruins buried on Mars, we'd still be stuck on Earth. That was just a small data cache. Who knows what we can learn from this beacon? What if it's a weapons archive? We can't let it fall into the wrong hands. Such as? Like who? The Attican Traverse isn't the most stable sector of Citadel space. There are plenty of raiders and criminal groups active in the region. They might figure a Prothean beacon is worth the risk of attacking an Alliance ship. Plus, Eden Prime is right on the border of the Terminus systems. Uh, tell me about these Terminus systems. The Attican Traverse is under Citadel protection. If the Terminus systems attack, it's an act of war. Technically, yes. But some of the species in the Terminus might be willing to start a war over this. The last thing the Council wants is to get dragged into a major conflict with the Terminus systems. We have to one, keep this low key. One thing I've noticed about the movement of the characters is that you can tell is aged a little bit. The movements aren't as, as smooth, uh, like the head movements from looking left to right is not as natural looking. Um, but I mean, again, 2007. Um, all right, well, I'm ready to go. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Shit's going down, isn't it? Get down! We are under attack, taking heavy casualties! I repeat, heavy casualties! We can't! Get evac! They came out of nowhere! We need... Well, that sounds serious. out after that no calm traffic at all it just goes dead there's nothing reverse and hold the 38.5 i don't know what he just flapped but it, he report. looks concerned 17 minutes out captain no other alliance ships in the area take us in joker fast and quiet this mission just got a lot more complicated a small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention it's our best chance to secure the beacon. 
I Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Elenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. It's a very large claw. Okay. I'm ready. Engaging stealth systems. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Oh, of course it is. Drop point one. Also, my helmet matches Mileage. my hair. You coming with us? I move faster on my own. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. Um, can we? Tr I don't think I would say can we trust him. I, I think uh, we'd say understood. Ready and able, sir. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck. We are approaching drop point two. Okay. Yeah. See. Look at. Perimeter secure, Commander. I've got my red mohawk on my helmet. That's too good. All right. Um. Let's take a look around this real quick. This place got hit hard, Commander. Hostiles everywhere. Keep your guard up. Okay. Use red mouse button to draw your weapon. Press H to put it away. Use left mouse button to mouse button to fire. Sustain fire causes weapons to overheat. Yeah. Aiming increases your accuracy. That seems back, obvious. I guess it means this zoomed in. All right. Is there is there anything to loot? No. Oh God, what happened here? Hey, cut it down on the commentary. A left shift to switch weapons for your squad. Oh. Equip Lancer, Shepard. Equip Storm. How do I? Shepard throw. Oh, I see. Jenkins equip storm. All right. Well, I don't know exactly what I want them to equip. I don't know enough to make those decisions yet. So I'll assume for now that default is fine. This feels like the beginning of Outer Worlds. Or I should say Outer Worlds feels like this beginning. Are you kidding me, Jenkins? Oh my god. Jenkins, are you serious right now? There's always a teammate that does this, right? Um How do I investigate? Game, you did not tell me how how do I investigate? Apparently it's space part of shields. We're out of chance. Um, he deserves a burial. Forget about him. Well, okay. I feel like burial delays us, and that's what the game is enticing us to do. Sometimes Marines die. The rest of us just have to carry on. We still have to find that beacon. Aye, aye, sir. Are you kidding me, Jenkins? Are you serious right now? Medi Jill is needed to heal injured squad members. On the Jill can be used to bypass decryption and electronics challengers. Both can be acquired by defeating enemies and opening containers. Are there containers on the ground? Press V to use Medi Jill to heal your squad. Are you hit? How do I tell if he's hit? Wait, can I talk to you before you die as well? Caden. Smells like smoke and death. Oh. Oh. Cheer up. Where do, when do I get to my hangar stuff? Oh. I've got some well burned buildings here, Shepard. A lot of bodies. You gain levels. 
I'll try to catch up with you at the dig site. All right, Nihilus, thank you. Um, squad, all right. Squad screen lets you view your team's talents. Mouse over a talent, or it's ranked to view it. Click on a talent to spend a talent point. Throw? Doesn't sound exciting. Decryption sounds exciting. Increases the amount of Omni Gel recovered. Let's you use the description decryption skill to open secure objects. I like that too. First aid. Who cares about my teammates? All right. Sabotage. You can use a, a decryption skill on easy objects. All right. Good thing. Yeah. Yeah. That sounds like a good idea. I have two points. Oh, I, I, I've got like literally only a couple options. Oh, that's how much it costs. That's not how many I have. How many do I have then? Is it how much I have? I guess it is how much I have. So how do I know how much these things cost? Oh, so level one costs one? Level two must cost something else then? I don't know how much. But it won't let me buy it. All right. And there's an auto level up, which is kind of cool for people who don't want that. I'm Paragon, whatever that means. I'm Elite, I guess. Oh, here's Kaiden. Um, he gets the level up as well. Definitely throwing. All right. Oh, I can take his helmet off. Okay, that means I can, I can help kill him, I suppose. All right, well, let's go. Oh. Shift pauses. I don't want to do that. Oh, I'm a bad shot. Use left shift to issue orders of your squad. Uh, uh, Z, attack your targets. Q or E, have a specific squad mate move to a point or attack the targeted enemy. Hope I didn't read all of it. Okay, um... Why are you running out in the open? Oh my god, buddy. I have to get used to the smell sensitivity. Do I not get to... Didn't I tell you to go over there? Oh my god. There's something over here. A medical kit. Um. Okay, Medigel. Uh, I, I would like a, a running option, though. Can you not run? Is this, like, my only speed? Uh-oh. Cool. Does she get to join my team? Oh. up on aisle five. I'm not so sure I'm doing damage. You know as a commander gunnery chief ashley williams of the 212 you the one in charge oh what happened here Give me a status report williams oh man we were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit we tried to get off a distress call but they cut off our communications i've been fighting for my life ever since um where's hearing. the rest of your squad we tried to double back to the beacon but we walked into an ambush i don't think any of the others I think I'm the only one left. You abandoned them? Really? I don't think he would say that. Any idea what kind of enemy we're facing? I think they're Geth. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. 
It might still be there. Uh, take You're us coming in. with us, Williams. We need that beacon. Aye, aye, sir. It's time for payback. No, let's 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 have let's talk first. Let's let's talk about the Geth. What else do you know about the Geth? Just what I remember from history class back in school. They're synthetics, non-organic life forms with limited AI programming, created by the Quarians a few centuries ago. They were supposed to be a source of cheap labor, but ended up turning on the Quarians and drove them into exile. Well, after that, they just kind of disappeared behind the Perseus Veil. Nobody's um, really heard much from them since. Not, not exactly, but also close to Stargate. Um. Tell me everything you know about the Beacon. They were doing some digging out here to extend the monorail and expand the colony. A few weeks ago, they unearthed some Prothean ruins and the Beacon. Suddenly, every scientific expert in the colony was interested. That's when they brought us in to secure the site. I don't know much about the beacon itself, but I heard one of the researchers say this could be the biggest scientific discovery of the century. Um, so as far as I go, um, I'm a big sucker for ancient civilizations, especially with ancient technology that you uncover and bumble and stumble through and cause problems and big, terrible things happen and they have to fix it. I I'm, I'm a pretty big sucker for that. What happened to the researchers at the dig site? I don't know. They set up camp near the beacon. The 232 was with them. Maybe their unit fared better than mine. Describe what happened leading up to the attack. We were sent out a couple of nights ago from the main colony to secure the area. Seemed like a routine patrol until the Geth hit us. We never knew they were coming. Move out. <laughs> you lead the way. Or I'll, I'll lead the way then. Press escape to go to the squad screen to spend talent points. Um, again? Um, hello, Ashley. Why are you why are you leading this mission in your basic? What is going on here? Assault training increases weapon damage by 1% increases melee damage by 30%. Why is weapon damage so low? Increases damage reduction. I mean, both of these sound pretty good to me. All right. Do, what do I have more myself? No, neither do I. All right. So they just want to meet up. They first gotcha. At the far end of this trench. What is this? Uh, reduced to Omnigel. Oh. Hammerhead. Do I? I don't know if I need those chemical rounds. It would be nice if I were to hover over this. It would tell me what these things do, but oh well. Um, I'll take them, I guess. I'm not even sure I would need them. Light armor? Change your team's equipment. So can I? I can change. Codex equipment. Okay. Equipment screen allows you to equip and upgrade gear for your squad. Click the filter tab to switch item types. All right. So I'm light armor, right? I'm wearing this. This is what I have selected, which is better. What is this? A slot. Okay. I can dig it. I don't know what this means, but I feel like I ought to wear this armor. All right. Look how different it looks. All right. I mean, it's going to feel weird going back to the captain and, and he's going to be like, what are you wearing? This is not standard issue. What are you doing? All right. You guys ready? Field of view is, is very narrow here, too. Excuse me? Run to the waypoint to take cover behind the rock? I didn't mean to press that. This rock specifically. Enter cover by moving up to the rock with your weapon drawn. Move to the edge of cover and press left mouse button to fire. Hold the right mouse button to lean out name. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm doing, but there's nobody there. Uh, how do I leave cover? H. I don't know why it wants... Oh, approaching a, a low object will make you crouch to cover behind it. Press left control to manually toggle. Get 
wrecked nerd. Press G to throw a grenade? Get out of my way! I'm the- I'm the commander! Oh! It- it- uh, it's- okay, there's no arc. Hold spacebar while moving? What? Why would I want to do that? Okay. I don't know what it wants me to melee attack. Why did my grenade not blow up? I don't know why my grenade didn't blow up. I have no idea. I thought we were targeting the rock because it was some, I don't know, fancy rock. But there was a guy behind it. That's too funny. Assault Rifle Avenger and a pistol. Now, I don't know what my skills are when it comes to rifles and pistols. I know... You know, I'm I'm not a rifle kind of guy. Wait a minute. I chose Sentinel. Isn't Sent was Sentinel? I thought it was magic and tech. Was it is it gun and tech? I don't know. Grenades, Omni tool. Anyways, accuracy rating is a little bit lower. Pistol. I don't know. These don't seem all that better. A little bit better. I'll take it. Okay. Alright, that looks dangerous. So this is where they found the beacon, huh? Is there is there any other goodies? I wonder what's up there. This is the dig site. The beacon was right here. It must have been moved. By who? Our side or the Geth? Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. You think anyone got out of here alive? If they were lucky. Maybe hiding up in the camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. All right, I knew that. Change of plans, Shepard. There's a small spaceport up ahead. I want to check it out. I'll wait for you there. All right, you do that, Nihilus. Are you guys coming? Okay. Looks like they hit the camp hard. It's a good place for an ambush. Keep your guard up. Why did they put people on spikes like this? Oh, jeez. What is... What is that? Oh, God. They're still alive. Ugh. Wait, what? What did the do to them? I don't like the look of this. What do you mean? I don't know why I'm beeping. How come I can't aim any longer? Oh God. Is there nothing on them? What are these things? They look pretty creepy. So these, like... Assault rifles. All right, I'm just gonna grab things. I'll, I'll, I'll check things out a little bit later. What am I stuck on? Was there an X here, or there was, and there isn't anymore? I don't know. That door. It's closed. Security locks engaged. I'm a hacker. What are you talking about? Some knocked objects require decryption or electronics to access. If any squad member has the required talent, you will be able to unlock the object using the decryption or electronics interface by spending Omnigel. Advance uh, to the central core. Move the mouse to move around the ring. Left click and right click to move inward and outward. Avoid the security programs. Okay. I'm not sure. Oh, okay. Well, that was fairly easy. Humans. 
thank the Maker. Hurry, close the door before they come back. What are you doing here? I'm Dr. Warren. I was in charge of this excavation. We hid in the shed during the attack. They must have come for the beacon. Luckily, it wasn't here. It was moved to the spaceport earlier this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to pack up the camp. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved. The age of humanity is ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain. All right, Doctor, we got to talk about your negativity here a little bit. What else can you tell me about the attack? It all happened so fast. One second we were gathering up our equipment. The next we were hiding in the shed while the Geth swarmed over the camp. Agents of the Destroyers, bringers of darkness, heralds of our extinction. We could hear the battle outside. Gunfire, screams. I thought it would never end. Then everything went quiet. We just sat there, too afraid to move, until you came along. Did you notice a Turian in the area? I saw him, the prophet, leader of the enemy. He was here before the attack. What? That's impossible. Nihilus was with us in the Normandy before the attack. He couldn't have been here. I I'm sorry, Manuel's still a bit unsettled. We haven't seen your Turian. We've been hiding in here since the attack. Why did he say that? Something's not right. I don't trust these people. Can you tell me anything about the beacon? It's some type of data module from a galaxy-wide communications network. Remarkably well-preserved. It could be the greatest scientific discovery of our lifetime. Miraculous new technologies, groundbreaking medical advances. Who knows what secrets are locked inside? We have unearthed the heart of evil. Awakened the beast. Unleashed the darkness. Manuel, please. This isn't the time. <laughs> Let's talk about Manuel for a minute. What's wrong with your assistant? Manuel has a brilliant mind, but he's always been a bit... unstable. You think? Genius and madness are two sides of the same coin. Is it madness to see the future? To see the destruction rushing towards us? To understand there is no escape? No hope? No. I am not mad. I'm the only sane one left. I gave him an extra dose of his meds after the attack. I can shut him up. Are you serious? So you can you can really play a, a dick if you want. That's pretty cool. Um, all right. Um, let, let's let's move on. Williams, take us to the spaceport. You can't stop it. Nobody can stop it. Night is falling. The darkness of eternity. Hush, Manuel. Go lie down. You'll feel better once the medication kicks in. <laughs> you, you treat him like a cat. That's a little weird. All right. Is there anything in here I can steal of yours? No. Um. Excuse me, can I get through? Can we talk to Manuel, let's talk. You're wasting your time. The age of humanity is over. Our extinction is inevitable. I have Manuel, questions. I need to ask you something. It's probably best if you just leave him alone. What? You don't want to investigate why he feels I this don't way? I have time for this. Yeah. Time? Fine. Our time is over. I have a feeling that since they pressed that I can shut him up on like two separate occasions, I am wondering that if I don't like put him down now, that he'll appear later and cause a problem. Like I'll be cornered and, and he'll like close a door and trap my escape or something like that. All right, I don't know what any of this is. I'll just take it all. So let's, let's look at our equipment here. I have two cramping assault rifles. Not necessarily better for them. The accuracy is horrible on these things. Yeah, all right. Let's go to shotgun. Who uses a shotgun here? Hessler. Wait, no, it is worse. So that's my that's my own pistol. All right, let's go to this. Armor. Uh, worse. Also worse. Tech biotic protection. All right. Well, that's the same thing. Is that that's I think that's the armor I, I had before. Um. Medium armor. Oh, so she can do medium. This looks better. It just doesn't have. All right, let's let's equip that in. There you go. I 
feel like I need a sniper. So can I turn everything else into Omni Gel? How do I do that? Is that with this? Convert this? Okay. Yeah. Let's do that then. Convert all junk. It doesn't appear I need a whole lot of this. All right, let's get a move on. I don't want to spend all my time in inventory stuff. All right, let's go. Are you guys coming? Um. Are you coming? Are you stuck? Somebody's going to pay for this. She's stuck. <laughs> uh oh. Let's get the bastards. I get, that's what I'm trying to get you to do, but you seem to be stuck. Are you serious right now? Oh, oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, there's a loading screen. Is that another Turian? Saren. It is. Nihilus. All right, well, he's got bad guy written all over him. This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The council thought you could use some help on this one. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control. Uh oh. Uh oh. What is that? Off in the distance. It's a ship. Look at the size of it. I wish I could go into first person so I don't stand in the way. That is pretty cool. Are they spawning near us? I heard another one. Like, what is that noise? I'll take whatever that is. Omnigel, aren't you? Oh, Hacker Man coming in. Override using Omnigel? No. No, no, no. Everybody stay calm out there. We're coming out. We're not armed. Is it safe? Are they gone? We took care of them. Those things were crawling all around the shed. They would have found us for sure. We owe you our lives. Damn straight you do. I still can't believe it. When we saw that ship, I thought it was all over. It showed up right before the attack. I knew it was trouble the second I saw it. So we made a break for the sheds. Tell me everything you remember about the attack. The three of us were working the crops when that ship showed up. We just saw it and ran. I don't know what happened to the rest of the crew. They were by the garage, over near the spaceport, right where that ship came down. No way they survived. You don't know that. We survived. If they made it to the garage, they could have had a fighting chance. Do you know anything about the Prothean beacon they dug up? We're just farmers. We heard they found something out there, but it never really mattered to us. Not until now. What else can you tell me about the ship you saw? I was too busy running to get a clear look at it. I think it landed over near the spaceport. Tell them about the noise, Cole. That awful noise. Tell me about the noise. Some kind of signal as it descended. It sounded like the shriek of the damned. Only it was coming from inside your own head. 
Uh oh. It was probably trying to block communications. Whatever it was, felt like it was tearing right through my skull. Almost made it impossible to think. I have to go. Hey, Cole, we're just a bunch of farmers. These guys are soldiers. Maybe we should give them the stuff. Jeez, Blake, you've got to learn when to shut up. What's going on? You have something to tell me, Cole? Some guys at the spaceport were running a small smuggling ring. Nothing major. In exchange for a cut of the profits, we let them store packages in our sheds. Oh. Um, that's why you're in here. Well, let, 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 I want to know what kind of stuff he's what got. What kind of packages? I found a pistol. Figured it would come in handy if those things came back. But you'll probably get more use out of it than we will. Hand it over and I'll be on my way. Okay. Good luck. I, I'm, I'm all about upgrading my gear, I guess. So, what, what kind of pistol was this? There's no pistol in here. What are you talking about? Unless this was it. Is this it here? Oh. I didn't do this, did I? Popular with pirates, criminals, and mercenaries. These rounds are coated with high, highly toxic compound. It is designed to flatten on impact, increasing the amount of physical force. I like the sound of that. Can I can I do that? Uh, can I can I remove it? Oh, I didn't mean to do this. Hold on. I'm getting... Hammerhead. Is there a way? I don't know. I'm just gonna equip them both. I can't. It's one or the other. But at least it doesn't like get destroyed. That's what I was worried is it gets destroyed or consumed or whatever. Oh no! Oh my god. I guess I was just a little impatient then. So what is this? This is this is not. It's better, but not significantly. All right. So empty. No, how do I? How do I? Can I? How do I get rid of it, though? Is the only way to get rid of it is to replace it? Feels like it. Hold on. All right, so what I want to do is equip this pistol. Transfer all and so... Oh, all right. Well, I'm glad it does that. I'm going to go with Hammerhead, though. That's what seems best to me. Wait a minute. This is not a pistol. Okay. Aren't there corpses over here? Can I loot? Why, why did the corpse disappear? What is that? I don't want a containment zone? Oh! Oh um. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't. <laughs> Are you serious right now? Are you serious? I have to go through all that again? All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to. <laughs> I'm going to cut the next bit out and we'll start up again by the containment cell. She's stuck again. Why is she stuck again? That seems like it seems like a, a pretty large bug. For pretty early on in the game that you would think would have been spotted and fixed right all right i'm back here gonna be very careful about the cells which i i, I already blew up i blew them up during the fight there's there's nihilus hello sir you look distraught something's moving over behind those crates Wait! Don't! Don't shoot! I'm one of you! I'm human! What are you doing sneaking around back there? I, I'm sorry. I was hiding from those creatures. My name's Pal. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. Um... What the hell are you talking about? There were two Turians here. Your friend and another one he called Saren. I think they knew each other. Your friends seemed to relax. He let his guard down. And Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. 
We were told a Prothean beacon was brought to the spaceport. What happened to it? It's over on the other platform, probably where that guy Saren was headed. He hopped on the cargo train right after he killed your friend. I knew that beacon was trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up, then the attack. They killed everyone. Everyone. If I hadn't been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. Uh, and how come he didn't see you? How come you're the only one who survived? Why didn't anyone else try to hide behind the crates? They never had a chance. I, I, I was already behind the crates when the attack started. Why Wait, were you behind the crates? You were hiding behind the crates before the attack? I... Sometimes I need a nap to get through my shift. <laughs> I sneak off behind the crates to grab 40 winks where the supervisor can't find me. You survived because you're lazy? <laughs> you make me sick. I almost, I almost want to go through like a jerk playthrough. I almost do. Um, investigate. Attack. Tell me about the Geth attack. It was quick. One minute that ship was descending, the next, those Geth were swarming over the platform, thousands of them. They must have been inside that mothership. They shot anything that moved. It was a massacre. Is there anything else you can tell me about the beacon? They brought it here this morning. We loaded it up onto the train and shipped it to the other platform. Hard to believe that was only a few hours ago. Here I'm liking like a whole other life. I'm liking the dialogue system so far. Um, I can I can choose my next choice before it needs to happen. So I can kind of like queue it up. And you can bypass dialogue by pressing the space bar. So you're not like stuck during it if you accidentally select it like a second time. I'm liking it so far. Tell me about this mothership you saw. I've never seen anything like it before. It it was huge. Landed over near that platform. The whole place got dark as it came down. And it was making this noise, this this sound that bored right into your brain. That's what woke me up. The attack came a few minutes later. We need to find that beacon before it's too late. Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. Wait, we need to investigate to see if there's like a bed back there. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, what? I didn't do that. Why did we all pull our guns out? Wait, where's this upgrade kit he's talking about? Who's firing at us? I don't know why we're, we're doing this. Is this the upgrade kit? Chemical rounds, armor piercing rounds. They're firing at something. So is this where he was sleeping? There's a body here. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. I'm doing it now too. No wonder my team- oh! about the sniper rifle i'm guessing the sniper rifle isn't very good because i'm not a sniper also i find it really weird that they haven't asked me to use my magic yet was i drunk when i selected sentinel is sentinel not magic and tech i don't know what i do like about it is i can use hold left shift to bring up the power wheel Power wheel lets you use the powers and special abilities of your squad. Overheats nearby enemy weapons and burns them from minor damage. Allows you to throw enemies and objects using a mass effect field. Who are you guys firing at? Oh, there's a lot of people over there. All right. I want to see what this does then. Did that do anything? Stop staying in front of me! Um, this guy looks pretty serious. Who are you 
is shooting me at? Are those all little tips of heads up there? Oh my god. Blow those up? No? Hello, I'm looting you. How come I don't see his health bar? Um. It was too long range, and I guess I think that's it. Oh. Wish I could loot these guys. Are, are you guys healthy? Are you okay? You said that before. Um. Actually, I'm not even sure which one's health and which one's armor. I'm guessing blue is health and red is armor, but I don't know. Anyway. I'll just hide right here. Set the charges. Destroy the entire colony. Leave no evidence that we were here. So apparently he was not on that ship. I thought he was. Uh, that was concerning. That, oh my god, that looks like, uh... That looks like, um, a knack with a generator from Stargate. Disarm this with my Demolition hacking ability. Charges. The Geth must have planted them. Hurry! We need to find them all and shut them down. Oh, well, that was easy. Okay. What are you guys shooting at? Oh. He's got a shield that's cheating. Wait, there's another one? Slowly, my guys run. All right, in combat, you can run a little bit quicker. I forgot about that. Oh, that was a miss. Gun. That's okay. Never mind. What are you doing? A clown. These guys didn't do a good job, did they? Okay. 
Where am I going next? I assume over there. What's down there, though? A lot of nothing. Okay. Wait, where's where's the other guy? Wait. Wait, is he dead? What did he blocked? Where did he go? I don't understand. Where's my friend? Is he dead? Okay, well, I guess we lost someone. Sorry, I wasn't good enough. I don't... I, I thought... I, I, I could have healed them, couldn't I have? Alright, well... I'm new! God. Get, stop getting in my... Oh my god. gotten in my way like way too many times. Is that the beacon? Alright, I'll take whatever that is. Uh decrypting. What is this thing? Oh this looks this looks dangerous. Pistols, assault rifles, I'll take them all by now. Oh, my friend's back. Okay, well, that's convenient. Normandy, the beacon is secure. This is amazing. Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. I don't it know where he went. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Something must have activated it. Roger, Normandy. Standing by. Maybe it's the noise. What are you doing? Why are you getting... Uh-oh. Does that mean I get whatever it is it's going to do? Shepard! No, don't touch it. Too dangerous. All right, that may have peaked a little bit. I'm sorry. Okay, well, I'm sure a little ointment, some bed rest, and I'll be fine. Also, the beacon looks a little damaged. We identified the ship that touched down on Eden Prime, the Normandy, a human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. So, he looks, he looks serious. Is it like steroids? Does it give you right rage? Okay, that seems like a pretty good ending point. That's all I'm going to show you guys. Should be enough there to uh, help you make a decision whether you want to pick it up or not. And again, um, if you're afraid of paying the full price and not liking the game, you can always pick up a month of EA Play Pro. It's a lot cheaper and you'll be able to test it out. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.